The rebellion has attacked Quant Drive Yards, the heart of Imperial warship production. With Lord Vader's fleet off near the Liana sector, the Drive Yards were more vulnerable than anyone had imagined. Leading the fleet was a command battlecruiser, the local sector defense identified as the Republic Venator, the Liberation. The Liberation was destroyed. I'm told much of the crew had been captured, while others were scooped up by Alliance fleet tenders during the battle. It's too risky to make inquiries at this time, though I won't be able to find out. The battle was intense. The station's orbital defenses are the most advanced in the core outside of Coruscant. And from what I gather, the local command pressed multiple under construction ISDs into service during the fight, some missing major components or in the middle of undergoing weapon system maintenance and upgrades. Must have been a sight. Vader's fleet was ordered to return and managed to do so before the Alliance could fortify their position or damage the ground-based installations. That being said, this level of failure has and will have an ongoing rippling effect in the Imperial hierarchy. I've already been ordered to report to a new assignment with my battle group. It would seem my investigations will be put on hold. The rebellion has become the priority. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome back to Empire at War, Forces of Corruption, playing the fantastic mod Awakening of the Rebellion. Last week, corruption has been oops, removed. there we go. La there's some corruption being removed. Last week, hey, it's Jaeger Miner down there. Uh, we ran into some trouble. We lost? Well, we didn't lose it. Quad drive yards, at least the space station, was destroyed. Yeah, our major, let me pause it real quick and turn on all the things. Our major production area. I'm a little nervous to leave that screen on because I have to unpause the game to do it. And that means that the Black Sun and the Rebels are moving units and building stuff, and I'm just sitting here yapping. Uh, but I'm going to do it anyways because I like to live dangerously. All right, quad drive yards. This was attacked. Funny enough, this was attacked right after I decided that this was going to be where we put one of our advanced starship yards down. The ones that let you build stuff like Tectors. We literally just started building it. And the Rebels showed up and swacked it because they had one jump access to it through Commoner. Where, in our response, Vader showed up, destroyed everything in orbit. We did lose, well, we did lose, the Liberation for the Rebels. My ship was destroyed in orbit. Uh, somebody in the comments said, from whence it came, it, it shall remain, or something like that. And where, you know, the Venator was destroyed. <laughs> oh, my baby. It was so sad. Oh, uh, we got ourselves into a weird position where uh, we can bottleneck an entire ground invasion force with really good infantry. They've already got tier threes down here. Instead of invading this, I'm almost tempted. Heroes are 15% cheaper and 20% faster to recruit. Ooh, that's actually a really nice bonus. Huh. Huh. Because we have a lot of heroes still kind of on the dot. Ooh, 15% for some of those heroes that we get that are like 27,000 credits like Nita. I mean, that's not bad. Yeah, that puts us in a weird spot. Um, we could invade it. We could move on. Vader wrecked everything in orbit and then just moved on. And I kind of wanted to just keep doing that. And I kind of wanted to take the fleet. I think I'm going to take the fleet. Like, I'm going to leave uh, uh, something in orbit to keep them from, you know, from acting. And then wow, they've got a large ground force here, too. This is also where their minds are. We took out their, their research. Uh, over Cato no Moidi last week too, which is really nice because maybe the rebels will stop building, you know, fancy ships for a while. Um, they're doing ground tech research as well. Wow. Uh, Quad Drive Yards is getting its space station back. I think we're literally just building the medium dry dock yards. We're gonna have to get our better production. And I was thinking about it. Bill Bringy is another capital shipyard. This may be... Oh, we got the advanced cruiser yard here. Okay. So stuff like, when does the immobilizer come up? Yeah, tier three, that makes sense. That would be like the most advanced thing that we've got. Uh, to get a gladiator, Star Destroyer, which I'd love to have, would require Imperial Tech 2 on frigates and cruisers. We can build, no, we can't build them yet. Imperial Global Space Tech Fighters and Cru I thought I had fighters and cruisers already. I have fighters one. What do you want? You want fighters, this is for the Ton Falk. Um, endurance Carrier. It's supposed to be an endurance carrier, but its complement is only two squadrons each. Complement one out of two TIE fighter squadrons, one out of two TIE... Oh, I read that wrong. One out of two TIE interceptors and one out of one bombers. That makes more sense. I was like, what are you talking about? There's only two squadrons there. There's three. But they're only one out of one. So how is that an endurance carrier? Endurance carriers are supposed to have like... 
waves, I thought. Uh, ah, so you need a tier one frigate and cruiser to pick up. So I should have this. Uh, oh, I don't have the cruiser. Yeah, I don't have frigate and cruiser yet. I thought I did. I actually picked up the starfighter, which is another reason why I probably can get that, but I don't have cruiser. Okay. Okay, so if we got cruiser, we could do that. If we wanted to pick up my baby, the Lancer, the anti-starfighter ship, uh, I would need uh, tech frigates and cruisers too. So I've already turned my Bill Bringy shipyard into a specialist. And I really want my specialized ISDs to be coming out of out of quad drive yards. So I'm, I'm willing to wait on this. It looks like we're going to change our focus while this gets built up. Oh, you could build... Um, yeah, you can build tie interceptors. Look at you. I should start doing that. Because one of our big issues right now, um, let's go ahead and invest unit. a little bit. Constructing our unit. big issues is starfighters. We're just getting overwhelmed by enemy starfighters. We can't survive for very long. Uh, what was my other major shipyard? If you've got another idea for where I should put a certain shipyard, let me know. Uh, and then you're kind of just stuck in, aren't you? Yeah, I'm using you as a defense force on this side. I don't have an orbital force that can really do anything. And I wanted to re, uh, to dig in with you a bit better. Getting ships here would be a problem, though. I could get you a couple of victories. Uh, in the last episode, we also picked up a lot of trading ships, so I could get another, another golden platform. That's tempting. Four grand? Constructing. I have something making these cheaper. We could also pick up the support station which gives us does this give us yeah deploy turrets and repairs i'm gonna do it i don't know if it'll let me because it might eat the slot for it let's try it uh the wheel though i want to hold on to because it's making us 500 credits a day and are you maxed out on um constructing unit yeah get yourself some freighters get yourself some freighters all right vader vader uh wait a minute let's grab ground forces constructing a bunch of probe droids we should also constantly send out our corruptions we can keep removing it what alderaan's corrupted oh we put <laughs> all right uh that 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 entertains me so alderaan is i put mines there because we went full dark side uh excuse me oh that's right we issued an order I like in the lore concept that we didn't issue this order that um, Admiral Ozzel has decided that striking immediately without getting permission from Fleet Command was the right choice. But he's rushed over to go after, uh, what was it? Uh, Gur uh, we have a mission here to liberate this. So let's get started. We're going to have to be careful here because his force is uh, a little off balance and doesn't have a lot of firepower. We don't have a strong center line. It's literally just his ISD and uh, battle carrier, the Venator. So let's see what we've got. Shall we begin? This week has been pretty light on Empire War episodes. We're gonna get back to the regularly scheduled like two or three episodes a week uh, next week. The reason being, I have no excuse. Helldivers, Helldiver, and Terminator. Terminator is fantastic. And so is Helldivers. <laughs> what is this year and good games? Oh, so good. Tie squadron here. Like I was enjoying, whoa, camera freak out. I was enjoying a little bit of Enshrouded so far, right? But it's early access. It's not the whole game. At once, Commander. So I wasn't super invested, but we were playing it on the on the Friday streams. And then we got... I loved Helldivers 1 so much. And I think they maxed out at a population of like 10,000 players, right? Like in their in, when they were the most popular game they would ever be. Like 10,000 players at one time. 400,000 players playing Helldivers 2. Bug game. Ah, uh, it's a weird time. Like that used to be the game Why me and Vale for, if you guys remember the old Space Engineer series, pleasure, would uh, would get into. All right, we're moving up. Let's move the fleet. For fun weekend games. The cannons on this thing. There's a fan animation. You can see those forward guns, like the side guns. There's a fan animation where they actually unfold out of the ship. Really cool looking. Uh, I, what are those Hold guns? Up. You modeled them, but do you actually use them? Let's see. Weapon systems. Four. Light. Uh, long range, two burst turbo lasers, and a four by two uh, burst laser cannon. Ah, the four by two must be the uh, four two burst laser cannons. Right. Which I would assume burst laser cannon would be something decent at taking out uh, 
Maybe gunships, but probably starfighters. All right, what are we dealing with? Let's send a unit of scouts over here. V-Wings from the Venator, go ahead and head in. Copy your ability so they don't get any free hits. Is this a laser battery or a quad point laser defense? Yeah, let's look that dies before we, uh, you can see the range of the ISD. Uh, doesn't look like there's an indicator for anything else. I am going to send the arcs. I don't know this map. Close your S foils. Go ahead and turn the music down a little bit. Head up to the north and show us what's going on up there. The anti-fighter turrets are getting right. I like that we have the turret construction platforms, but a lot of them are super useless. <laughs> like that one. Guarding. I mean, I guess they do give you sight if you've got orbital orbital weapons. So never mind. I guess they're not really useless. That is that is one thing that they do. Uh, another platform that we've just passed by. Our V-Wings have reached the station location. I'm not really seeing... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Abandoned trade station. Will give us squadrons of YT-1300s and Tuscan squadrons. Sweet, if we capture it. I bet it makes money too. Let's see, we're at 9-6. Once we have captured the star base, do we go up and cash? We need to stop the fleet. Yeah, we got a thousand and it just launched ready. some YTs for us. Free units, very, very, very cool. All right. Uh, did you see, what are, what are you looking at over here? Turrets, turrets and turrets. Standing by. In route. Head up the rest of the way. Uh, we're gonna... I might do something silly here. I might curve and get some shots off. And, and try to bait them out, right? Like get the victory just close enough to fire and then don't fire underneath whatever Where their space want? station is. All right, let's unpause. People get so mad at me when I pause Ready the game. Like board. unreasonably upset. There was a really angry comment in the Terminator game. All right, hold your position. Let's kill these defensive platforms without taking any damage. I'm not sure why we're taking a little bit of damage already. And then have you spawned anything cool or new? Yes. Check them out. This fleet is really weak to um, starfighters. So I'm really, really happy to have anything to get in the way. And these are ion interceptors. So I will take that. Let's go. Illegal trade goods. Cool. Very, very cool. What are we shooting at? Oh, we're blowing up another. Let me guess. You went with starfighters, light turbos. Not anti starfighter. Yeah, you did go with light turbos. Now it's a better choice than. Oh, are we lobbing missiles? Are we in missile range? Bop. 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 We're just doing hull damage. We're taking out a tractor even better. Why don't we give them yeah, all of the good news? Targeting. Fire when ready. Missiles away. There they go. Our tabletop game ran into their first victory class. And uh, it was on what's something called chase rules. Basically, they were pushing through an ongoing battle that they weren't involved in. They just kind of hyperspace into the middle of it. And they wanted to get to the planet on the other side of the hyperspace beacon. And at one of the stages, a victory class that was like fairly far off the battlefield launched all 20 of its like heavy concussion missiles, his assault, their assault missiles, through the battlefield. And one of the things that we brought up was like, now remember, this is mass produced Imperial tech. It's not always super useful Weapons or super um, good quality. Order acknowledged. So we're gonna roll a 1d6 and find out how many of these missiles go off target and start hunting for a new one. And I rolled a six, meaning six missiles ended up becoming a problem for them. It was very fun, very fun. And they had to come up with ways to like, you know, ready. in one round, those missiles would reach and then they would they would hit the, their, their main capital ship. So they were like jamming and popping flares and dumping literally scrap out of one of their star, out of one of their, um, their, their heavy bombers. The, uh, this what is the H6 as like a chaff system, right? <laughs> All right, enemy is engaging. Get out of there, Gazanti. 
You're not the hero ship we need. You need to get out of there. TIE fighters, engage when ready. Let's go. Launch all fighters and prepare for combat. Nope, 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 nope. We do not want to fight on their terms. Bring it in close. Bring it in close. You head up. You head up. Everybody, kick off the guns. Actually, you keep firing at this. Let's take out the point defense best we can. That's still deeper than I wanted you to go. That is well deeper than I wanted you to go. Um, I don't really have anything to fire at with you that's like specific, so let's just start firing. Actually, no, scratch that. I do have a target. I do have a target. Switch to ions and you may open fire. No, acclimator. Oh, acclimator must have gotten focused. That sucked. <gasps> the hero ship for the rebellion. There he is. Focus all firepower. Sad we, we did lose an arc and our acquaintance. That makes me sad. He was a little close to the fight. I'm gonna hear about that. <laughs> All right, the hero we need, Ozel. No one ever said, horrible guy. Can we um go ahead and move up a little bit more? So we're taking a little bit more of the point damage and uh, let's go ahead and just tractor beam that. Anybody using turbos? Fire at their anti-missile defense system. Let's go for the Nebulon B. Uh-oh, we got IPVs. That's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. Hey, YTs. Hey, YTs. You're technically gunships, right? Get in there, Gazantes. I definitely don't want to lose my Venator. The Venators are like that hero ship that I just love to keep in the fleet for the all the way for the... If it can survive to the end. We can't build them. Sadly. I don't know if y'all are aware, but a teaser trailer came out this week for the new Awakening of the Rebellion. Okay, go ahead and pull back, pull back. All fighters pull back. And then all turbo lasers focus on the IPV. I don't know why they're pulling back, but we are short. See why we're always short on starfighters? Are we taking turbo laser fire? We are. Dang, YT, go for it. Get work done. Ah, uh, but there's a teaser trailer for... Let's get you guys all focusing now. Let's see if we can kill this. If everyone fires the new Clone Wars mod. There goes one of the IPVs. All right, Starfighters fall back. Wait, who's on fire? Oh no, our Carrick's on fire. Let's get you out of there. Ooh, he's taking long range missiles from something. I don't think he's gonna survive. He's not gonna survive. The IPV's doing damage. All Starfighters engage. All Starfighters engage. You go ahead and fall back. Commander. This was a limited fleet. Alright. I need you all to focus your fire on this. Kill him. Kill him. Targeting at maximum you two sit back and enjoy the fruits of your labors. You guys have done very, very well. We got a new wave of fighters. I'm just going to send them in. Secure cargo. We're going to actually get into a fight. Yep, there's a Clone Wars era Awakening of the Rebellion mod. That team is making a new mod. I love it. So we have Republic at War, Fall of the Republic, and now the new one, Awakening. I think it's Awakening of the Republic. Is that what they're calling it? Ah, I just watched the trailer like last night, the teaser trailer. In the teaser, they had the, uh, the 212 in it, the 501st. Very exciting. They had certain ships. And they're working with uh, the Republican War guys as well, so it's very exciting. I love that out of all the communities, let's hold position, modding communities for various games, normally personalities seem to get in the way. Yes, People sir. get into into weird online spats the with each other. They get like overly competitive, right? And it seems like Empire at War, knock on wood here, has always been with, like they trade and they work together they share resources but then they still manage to be their own mods like they all play vastly differently it's so good let's bring the arcs in we can use the extra firepower all right we're gonna eat through these last starfighters and i'm gonna move the rest of you up i want you to hold position though i want the isd to go first ozel move up yeah is that cool though like they're working together remake has worked together with other teams. Corey's team has worked together. Like, it's very, very cool. Tractor beam. Tractor beam that smaller ship. What was it? It was Indoor that had the cool tractor beam scene with the dish ship. With like the listening post ship. 
which I think they introduced that ship in Rebels, actually. I think that was one of the things that, like, it was one of those things where, uh, what was, the, the droid from Rebels ended up, like, blowing up an in, entire Imperial light cruiser. <laughs> and it was like, wow, that, that, that droid has a, ah, uh, Chopper, you've got a kill count, my man. Like, a lot. I'm a little concerned. But it's weird that people don't realize that uh, Chopper, Chopper is a war veteran of the Clone Wars. Like he's seen some shit. He's up there with Rex. Like he has the same. <laughs> he was a he was a fighter pilot, like a Y wings gunner seat astromech. Oh man, I love that stuff. The cute little droid. And then you're like, oh, oh man. What a lovely Ready scene when you kind of like, they, they, they emphasize that in a certain scene oh, in that series. Hmm. It's really good. All right, we've managed to take the orbit. I think we have to take the ground to complete the objective. It was secure the planet. I need to secure more of these objectives so that we can get the fear level higher. Uh, so that we get better rewards when we do do the starship um, take out missions. So. Guys, they've got one blockade runner left. I mean, I could use the ion ability, but I feel like at this point it'd be overkill. Stay on target. One last blockade runner. Victory is ours, man. All right. Good time. Good time for us. Like the best year for gaming in, I don't know, five or six years. Easy. At least for me, for my particular genres and, and interests. Loving it. Okay, we own the orbit. We are one jump from Bespin because of this. This, I don't think we're going to get all the way to Hoth down here. I think you'd all agree. We're not really in a position, particularly with this fleet, to push too deep. We might be able to do a raid on Bespin and take out their, um, they're, they're corrupted by Black Sun right now. Uh, by, and take out their, their, their money, their income production, and take out the space stations. But to get all the way to Hoth, like Hoth is well defended and it's got an ion cannon. I don't think the AI would sell the ion cannon. Um, but to complete the objective, I would need to land the ground forces, which means I'd have to pull ground forces from somewhere. And the only place that I can reinforce you, ooh, is whatever we've got on the deck right now. I mean, honestly, I'd be willing to sacrifice Malastair for this. I just took out their fleet. I might have some breathing room. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Load all the forces. Underway. Oop, nope, 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 nope. We're not moving you. We will move a field commander. We will move our heroes. You are gonna come right back though. Transmission received. Uh, actually need you to go up one more. Go north. There you go. Oh, you have to. That's literally the route. And it's all hyperlands too. That's, your command. That's our ground force. That's the best we're gonna get. Uh, construction complete, huh? Is that the quad drive yards, shipyards? No, they're still 29%. And I can get rid of some more of this damn corruption. Cleared for departure. <laughs> Cleared for departure. Firing. Let's train another one. I love that in this version, they fixed the issue where if you build max cap of something, uh, you get, I'm, I'm supposed to be able to before these, they go away. The button isn't there, so you don't waste your time. We need to, I mean, we need to get a moth palace up. We need to, do we want to put a moth palace? It would kind of help secure, you don't get any defense stuff, do you? You get like one unit, don't you? This unit, when stationed over a freight delivery planet, will increase the total income by a hundred. Whoa, you get death troopers. You do get a defensive unit. Uh, and you, all right, so a moth along this hyperspace lane, uh, which I need to learn my hyperspace lane names. I don't know them very well. Let's do the upgrade. That's expensive, but it also increases income by 150% plus 100 credits. We're already making 887. That is some chunky amounts of money. Um, ah, let's see, Alliance Envoy Presence. He can be neutralized with a bounty hunter. We need a bounty hunter. We need, a, we need a bounty hunter. Ah, there you are. 
So you're not really a bounty hunter. You're a removing corruption. Removing corruption. You don't. You don't count. Is it you? Do I need you? There we go. Neutralize enemy set. bullshit and go. And then you. We gotta send our agents out. Kill we'll the envoy. There we go. Uh, is there not another one here? Oh, okay, we're dealing. Hiring bounty hunter. Let's get a few more agents to send out. I wonder if Vader can punch this. I do want to take these backline worlds. Oh, you're, not, you're Mark II and you've got that many troops? All right, here's what we'll do. We'll move our ground force forward. As you wish, master. As you wish. Uh, we'll pick up World Bringy. I want to build something, something. I want you to get me it's close to Ordmon's hell. Oh, and you, I've got issues way over here. Hmm. Course approved. Course approved. I think it's time we picked up that technology. Hey, Feroz, you're pretty far behind the line. You got, sp you don't have space. Hey, Vulter, you can get me more money coming in. Beginning Let's invest. Can you double up? I shouldn't. I, sh I, sh I got to choose one of my... Hmm. Where to put our new... I want to get cruiser technology. Because I want to get those uh, those barriers. Yeah. Maybe Vardos. I have plans for you. I mean, Coralag's not bad. Oh, oh. Look at you. You already have some tech. Let's do it. Let's do it. And then I'm going to send you guys. Your stack can head out to... Wah-cop. That didn't take long. Holy crap. I could probably win this. I think I can, I think I can, this is the weirdest tiny battle. Kind of fun though, because you get to try, you know, smaller, smaller ship versus ship combat, which we don't really get. One thing I wish Awaken the Rebellion had that, uh, that Thrawn's Revenge has is a map where you can just test units. It isn't like trying to get somebody together in a multiplayer match where you can just spawn stuff and try out like, you know, what's, what is, is an acclimator good against a MC-30? Like, who wins that battle? Like, you can just kind of mix and match. Uh, and fleet builds. Okay, we're moving. Awaiting orders. You guys are surprisingly fast. Or I'm just too used to having ISDs in my fleet. Awaiting your command. Keep up. Why are you so Cannons slow? Armed. Cruiser here. You guys get nerfed? I feel like you guys were a little, you were a little strong before, Frequency so you may have been open. nerfed. Commander. Roger that. Location I confirmed. think they might have been. Form up. Did you guys have your speed just drop to nothing? I wouldn't put it past yes, them. Sir. It'd of probably course, be a good sir. idea because these were um, shockingly good in in Starfighter combat. Their turrets could shoot in any direction and they were just zipping around the map. Yeah, we're, we're literally going against something with, what, like a quarter of the health of this thing? And we've got an Ion ship, and we've got support. Uh, let's send over a V. No, let's send over the Ark. Ark, live your best life. Go scout something. Rest of the squadron, you may open fire. Yeah, the, the freighters are just supposed to be escorts. Let's focus. Focus up, focus up. Use your Ion ability. Let's knock those shields down. And the second the shields are down, I'm gonna have you switch targets. Yeah, and we've got like rockets. We've got the assault missiles. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's like, I'm out. He's... Your command. We're not going to be able to finish that, so let's switch fire to the hammerheads. They're going to be a little tankier. Such a cool ship. Such a cool ship. We've got a new project going on in the ARM Code community. I've been wanting to do a community campaign in a game that can actually support the entire community, and there isn't a game that really exists like that in a cooperative sense where we're all fighting as one force going against uh, insurmountable odds. Like, that's that's been a dream for a long time. So I said, finally, you know what? Screw it. We're just going to make our own. So I'm working on, and have been all week, coming soon, there will be a meta campaign sign-up sheet that's going to be out, and we're going to play it through the Discord 
where everybody gets to play a single unit like a platoon commander all the way up to like carrier and destroyer captains uh, orbital forces on a planet where we're fighting giant bugs inspired by hell divers uh, it's going to be a lot of fun so keep an eye out for that we've been we've been brainstorming up the rule set keeping it nice and simple i'm going to update the map three times a week so you'll be able to issue your orders in a special Discord channel where you want your unit to move and what your target's going to be. So if you're playing heavy artillery, uh, you're going to have certain rules that let you, you know, fire three times at three targets and support the front line. Uh, or if you're playing infantry, you're going to be able to hold the front line so the bugs can't get through, the only units that can. Stuff like that. It's going to be a good time, and I hope you guys are down for it. So keep an eye out for word about that. Uh, I'll probably put, like, a post about it on YouTube if I decide that I don't have enough people coming out from the Discord. Uh, but yeah, you know what? If I can't find the game that I've been looking for for ages, I'm just going to make it myself. Uh, it's going to be great. But the fun part about this is it's going to be a generic rule set that we can use for any any universe if we want to. So there could be a Empire at War inspired meta campaign. And we're going to do game nights that kind of tie into it. I don't know how that's going to work just yet, but I'm still figuring it out. Uh, all right, we got a Moth Palace going down. We have our, uh, did I pick up that tech or did we just get attacked before that happened? We did pick up the tech for the carrier. And we've got an opportunity to invade a world. Planet has high income provided by Treasures of the Trade Federation. Treasures of the Trade Federation. Oh. Yeah, you're a default income of 348. I could make bank here. I could also get an army headquarters down here. The only problem is you're really well defended. What's the base layout look like? Uh, uh, I mean, I do have artillery. So we might be able to push through this with a slow. Yeah, let's do it. Let's. Mm, I can't say no to that income. All right. Send in the next wave strategy is a go, Vader. You may drop when ready. We've also got Vader's air support. We've got orbital. Yeah, we, we might be okay. We should be able to do this. The question is, can we do this without so many losses that I'm spending another week recouping platoon after platoon of regulars? We also have Z95s in the field because of the outposts. Choose your reinforcements. Get some regulars. Uh, we're going to get some light armor in, which I need to build more of. I keep forgetting to do that. We'll go for double because I've been really impressed with you guys. Artillery is going to be key here. Uh, and we'll get a force commander so we can see the map. I think the force commander, those ties aren't going to last long. It's literally just to kill the Z95 and to see where their units are. Uh, they have a lot of infantry. I'm thinking army support platoons is probably a good way to go. And then maybe a group of... Funny enough, now I wish I just had the grenade launcher version. <laughs> Uh, maybe a group of walkers to support the arty. Alright, Ties, you're gonna be my group one. Don't go too deep. Engines activated. Go ahead and pull back. You're kind of my spotter. Please pull back. Please pull back. You're deep, too deep in the city. And they most likely have anti... You know what? Let's get the Inquisitor down and let him take point. He's a free unit. I don't use him enough. He can chew through some infantry. Look at the little Inquisitor fighter with the folding wings. What is Ooh. Thing, my master? All right, all right, all right. You're going to be my group one because I have a feeling you're going to be too keen and you're going to run in. Buddy, as much as you wish you were, you're not a Sith. You're not a Sith. You're a wannabe Sith. Yes, wise you wish you were a Sith. As you wish, master. You're going to have to kill one of the Sith standing first. You're just nothing but a tool for the Empire. And then like Coda. A blind man and a fool. Against the Empire. Uh, we have a Nomodia house. No infantry? Ah, there we go. First infantry contact. This map's serve. a little weird. We're gonna have to Dark fight through side. these little corners. It shall be done. And we're kind of doom stacking hey, right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everything paused because I accidentally all tap. All right, what's your special ability? Force push. 
He's got the spinning lightsaber. <laughs> Some people really hate the spinning lightsaber. I don't hate it. I mean, I kind of rolled my eyes a little bit when they used it to like hover, like to lighten their fall. That's a droid works. That's a droid works we're moving to capture. All right, let's send our inquisitor over here. Let's get the light armor moved up. I don't like how you guys are doom stacking. A couple of artillery shells and you're going to be fairly disappointed in life. Uh, I regret this choice. Leave. Leave, 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 leave. The regulars weren't there to kind of deaden the attack. Oh, yeah, no, we're pulling out of that. We're pulling out of that. Hey, Artie. Oh, they're spotting and you're out of range. Fall back. All units fall back. Inquisitor's still alive, really? Hold your position. Ties, we need you. I want to know what else is back here. I want to secure that, but I don't think it's going to happen. So we've got a large group of infantry in the south. Landing site. Definitely have heavy AA in the back. That's fine. We're not going to bring in any more air. Uh, but it does tell us where we can bring in. Sit here. I need to know if you're going to get shot down by AA or if the bombers are going to be... I think the bombers can hit this. Unit, hold your position. Ready for command. Yeah, we're just gonna hold our position back here. Our artillery move back. Artillery move back. Infantry move up. Or rags are getting shot up. Officer, yeah, I thought you were somewhere silly. Get back here. Woo, look at those blaster bolts. So we're looking at rebel sec force. So their infantry are literally better. They've also got some Sephiroth speeders. So they've got some, some tacticals in the back. Uh, we could probably do something about this. If we lock in both of you... You're facing the right way, so your main weapon should still be able to fire. Let's go ahead and get those set up. Once they're set up, we'll pick up... Uh, ooh. We don't need to jam missiles or anything, so let's go ahead and pick up a grenade launcher. And for you, let me get a repair center for vehicles, and we'll just use you to fall back over and over and over. And then you, go ahead and turn around. Let's get some arty. I think artillery is the key to victory here. And... Send in the next wave, really. Let's get a support unit. We've only lost one unit worth of, of infantry. Really? I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. Let's get the support gunners up here. We can we can fill their skies with turbo laser shots. Uh, we have contact left. Reinforcements are on routes. I'm sending you better infantry. Vader is like hearing the officers screaming for reinforcements and he's like, fine. I guess this time. Let's get a um, another another grenade launcher. It's it's infantry that's the problem. I think this battle's gonna be over before they No, 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 no. They have so many infantry, it's not gonna be over. Artillery, keep shelling this side. I want that side broken. All right, we got E-Webs. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That single unit comes with two E-Webs and that many heavy gunners? Wow, Stormtrooper support squads are so much better than regulars, and I've just been saving them. <laughs> yeah, like our whole left front is kind of gotten... <laughs> our left side has gotten blasted. Yeah, go ahead and, and activate. Let's just win that. I do need sight, so I'm sending you in. Hey, Sephiroth. Can you fire at him? Can you guys shell him? I need to get a squad far enough forward that I can actually see. Uh, let's watch these brave men move forward to get the coordinates for the turbo laser tower. The defense laser. Is he dead? No, they're not dead. I think we can get this through. 
And if we can't, who cares? Are they droids? Ah, oh, they got it. They caught it. That sucks. Dude, they're TIE fighters. We'll replace them. It's no big deal. That's coming from a different direction. That's coming from the right instead of the left. They got through? Wow. Vader's bombers are so much better. We did lose one. We lost two. Is one going to get through the fight? That sounds like a yes. Two proton bombs away. Hey, I'll take what I can get, man. Those, those turrets are no joke. Down. Yeah, let's weaken this up a bit more before we move in. They've got a lot of combat potential there. Uh, I'll bring in some walkers. You notice how I don't bring in Vader a lot? Vader's super strong and well worth it. But I don't like him going in because I feel like most of these jobs, like if it's not Hoth or if he's not going down there to pick up this Jedi, that he's heard so much about, about why is why is Vader on the deck? I've never been a big fan of strategy games yes, sir. that have a focus on Scouting. singular strong heroes. On it's a mechanic that I don't like. Like they, they're they're stronger than entire platoon of, of you know armed, uh, trained, you know, combat veterans. That one heroic unit, it always drives me crazy. Unless the universe kind of supports it, like Warhammer, Total War, where you get that one guy, th that one hero in an army that's a giant four-story demon. You know, it's like, all right, I will give you that. <laughs> you are the boss that which the army needs to fight. I'm here for it. But when the guy is still human, I remember when Warcraft 3 came out. And, uh, hell, that game is probably older than half my audience. Uh, that being said, good job. I still have a lot of contact on my left. We have a whole squad moving up. Oh, it's the game I couldn't get into. I was playing a lot of Command & Conquer back then. Artie should be able to handle this. We've also got grenade launchers, so let's kill that before more show up. We're gonna go this way. Decision has been made. I need one walker. Come over here. I don't even need you to get that close, do I? You know what? Let's, let's just save it. I don't have to kill. Uh, we have enemy contact. We uh had enemy contact. Oh, artillery, you missed one. There we go. Don't go too deep. Alright, we're moving. The grenade launchers and the artillery can handle this. I don't need to drop a bombardment. Okay, we're moving. I love the E-webs. <laughs> There's just something about the E-webs like following around this deployable tank. So good. I can't believe Terminator was a good RTS. Like a really good RTS. No. What business did that game? I did a video on it. There's a Terminator Dark, Dark, uh, it's got a silly long name. Oh, yeah, you got your health back. Yeah, get in there. And like it simulates just to the right level the amount of random stuff that you have to deal with with your, your fighting force in such a cool way. Like they, they simulate ammunition. <laughs> I've got twin grenade launchers and a repair station. My artillery can hold here. But like they simulate ammunition, they simulate um, the ranges for weapon systems feels really good. Like the balance there. There's our heavy weapons. What's firing at us? There's something on the bridge. Oh, there's a tank that's like, oops, it's like fallen off the bridge. My camera's gone crazy. That's perfect for you guys. Uh, you can use your missiles. Yeah, there you go. Use your missiles. Nice. Oh no, I think they hit the. Oh, don't tell me you're bugging out. Let's do an attack move. Oh, please don't be bugging out. Okay, he's got it. He's got it. He's crushing it. His Inquisitors get force crushed. That's really nice. That's good enough. You guys are my anti-vehicle, like, stun unit. Hope I don't lose you. I, can't, I don't think I can train them. We don't get, like, the Illum training area. We just get the quest for Inquisitors. Thing. Could be wrong. There might be a new planet that offers it, but yeah, they, they simulate ammunition. There's airstrikes. Range and unit variety is really good, like the way they handle it. 
Uh, weirdly, it kind of reminds me of the way Awakening of the Rebellion devs have balanced out their weapons and the weapon classes. It just works really, really well. Really, really well. But, but obviously, Empire War doesn't have, like, I'm not worried about how many missiles my, um, my, my anti, my, my freaking, here we go, my ATST has, right? But then they have the, the, the tools to deal with that. Like, you're setting up ammo depots and stuff in the battlefield with, uh, mobile transports. Ah, and it's got the home world. I'm just ranting about this game. Because it's so rare that we get a really good RTS that does some new stuff. Like, like it has the home world. You keep your army between missions. I'm a, I'm a fiend for that gameplay. Very few games are like that. Ah, there he goes. Rebel armor doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, we broke through their main their main force. They've got oh look at my little firing line ATSTs. Look at you guys line up appropriately. I'm so impressed. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Are we too deep? Are we too deep? Are we good? We're good because we're bringing in an orbital strike. Hey, help them. Some days I think friendly fire with orbital strike should be a thing. Like make them stronger but allow them to hit friendlies. Because you get silly stuff like this. All position! All focus on the large bunker turret. Which is a modded unit. Please kill it quickly. It is actually killing my walkers. I don't approve. I don't appreciate it. Look at this map. Look at the traffic up top. <laughs> Oh. That's very cool. Move it up. Move it up. We might be doing a community campaign in Terminator. Uh, because you can name the units. You can name the units and the upgrades so we can put the community in there like we do the old Stellaris campaigns. I think that would be a lot of fun. Hey, uh, we got there. Uh, yeah. Do I want to push it in a weird direction? Do I want to? What's going on here? Nothing. I mean, this might be Enemy it. Walkers head up. I want to call in a strike. I just don't really have a target yet. I am picking up two buildings. Why is there what? Hey, guys, Steve over here wants a piece. I'll target Steve. Oh, Steve, you're about to get lasered. He killed me with a sword, Mal. How weird is that? There's our target. Ready to receive Go ahead and give me a bobbing run on that structure. Guys, if you just walk near it, we can cap it. You don't have to fire. They've got it. Uh, this, there's so much in that game that I wish Empire War had. Like the ability to tell them to stop firing. Or a stealth mechanic for, for infantry. It would be nice. Little things like that where it's like, you know, you know, you guys could just steal that for Empire War too, right? Where you can tell your units to go prone. You can change their formation. You can tell them to not fire, which increases their stealth rating. The ground material where you tell them to go prone in affects how much cover they get. So if you do it on concrete, it's really not going to be helpful. But if you do it in like grassy fields, it gives you extra stealth and more defense when you go prone. Like what a weirdly awesome simulation of that. That's so cool. Just functional formations for infantry. Mm. Good. Yeah. Leading Armco for the Empire. Particularly Imperial regulars is a bad choice. <laughs> oh man, these devs. Why did they send us? Dark side is my ally. Because you're cheap. <laughs> Why did I send you? Oh, Imperial regulars. Because you're inexpensive. And I can send you in waves. Alright, moving the artillery up. On my way. The final structure, Cato Nemoidia, will be under our control. This will be one, and Alliance headquarters are getting blown up. Oh man, look at that model for the building. That looks really good. Is that? I think that's updated. Is that new for this version? I like the the, the tower. It feels like a proper like the Alliance really invested here. Action hub. The Alliance Headquarters commands a greater garrison, additional defense platforms, and advanced training facilities. The headquarters is the main contact point for Outer Rim Worlds to begin negotiations with the Rebellion. 
Mm, there's already teasers coming out for new maps for the next version of this that are looking really good. Looking really good. One of them has like, like trench lines. It's a whole trench warfare map, which is weird to think that we don't have a map like that really. But City Street victory is ours? Question mark? This should be it, right? Yeah, there it is. The spirits of our fallen brothers will sleep soundly tonight. Well done, gentlemen. A serious chunk of income for the Empire will be coming from this planet. And with just about no losses, I will take that. Where they lost one of their elite units uh, and six other platoons. Mimbanese freedom fighters. Hmm. That's not something I was ever able to train when I played as the Rebellion. I'm jealous. Let's get a simple Building barracks started. down right away. And a shield generator. How many spots do we get? We get three. Choose them wisely. Uh, cancel this. Go for a governor's palace. Uh, yeah. Let's go for a governor's palace and a... It's not a barracks. That's actually an outpost, right? Yeah, sim no, that's a simple barracks. Building Wrong canceled. one. Outpost. Building under construction. So we have some kind of defense. I want to send you more reinforcements. I'm worried you're going to get caught out. I love that I've like pushed into their back line. Uh, man, and Manan. Oh, I could get the I could get the health buff, right? This planet is a. Oh, you have a. You have a health buff. I thought. Manan's most remarkable feature is its calm oceans, complete government. Uh, no, 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 no. I thought they gave a cult a bonus. Maybe not. I guess it doesn't make sense that they would give the cult a bonus. Because it, 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 KOTOR, like we ruined that in KOTOR. I think, I think that was the canon ending. That's why we get, uh, or it wasn't as effective as uh, Bacta. Uh, maybe that was it. Maybe that was it. So while it's still like produced, it's not produced in the quantities that it once was during the uh, Knights of the Old Republic era, because it's just backed as just better. That could be it. We are broke. Let's unpause. At your command. I am absolutely broke at the moment. And hey, people should be really happy that's been telling me for ages to deal with the corruption Reclaiming issues. Corruption. We're finally doing it. I'm finally working on it. Let's see what, let's see what, Rind oh, I could get Rindil drive yards. That's right. People in the comments were like, you should get Rindil and get the drive yards online. If you just lost Quat, you could use as many of the um, capital ship production as you can get, or just general production. Uh, but we should look at what like, oh crap. Are you producing anything? Yes. And you didn't finish it. 58% on our next Golan platform. Cancel production. No, that's a good fleet. We knew it was short-lived. They have, that's a different fleet? No, they split it. They split the fleet, okay. Hmm. I mean, it gave us multiple weeks of income. Also keeping them distracted from hitting the core right now, which is nice. And we do have them, we have them locked in. They can't get past us. Uh, so if they were going to try, I mean, they can if they take out, obviously, the orbital, but. All right. That's a problem. It's a problem because it's another, like, siege group. They've got those damn shield generators. Meaning our, our Golan 2 is not going to be able to break through that. I probably won't get a kill here. Let's see. How big is the space station? Medium-sized? Okay. Mm, it depends on what the role is. What are you going to give me? Ready for action. What do, you, ready. what do we get? We did get paid. Upgrade in progress. What's the fleet look like? Oh, we get free ready. ties. <gasps> Mining guild ties. When you want yellow ties. Right away. Except no substitutes. Oh, we also get free. Come on up here. Orbital command available. Upgrade complete. Uh, command. Hey, where's the fleet? Upgrade in progress. Receiving. Message. What did I? Reinforcements. Hey, okay. Route. Okay, you're making me panic. We got a victory. That's a good start. Red not eh. Uh, artillery support is never gonna be able to get through the shielding. I mean, the ion's not bad, but 
when I on hmm. upgrade complete. Copy. Yes, sir. Victories get IP wait, One do you really get four. IPVs? Or did you drop out of hyperspace? You dropped out of hyperspace. Sir. Okay. Sir. Hey, I'm not I'm not convinced. We need a lot of firepower. Oh, and we are only gonna get rank two. Upgrade in progress. Mm. Get up here, get up here. Worst part is they didn't build any starfighters either. Really. We're not gonna get much. We're not gonna get much at all. Upgrade complete. Keep your eyes open for those fighters. Okay, we got some gunships, some R41s. I copy. We got some Hawks. Uh, you, the YV-666 freighters, aka gunships. Uh, what's your deal? Oh, you're just literally a gunship roll. First contact is here. Let's see if we can keep all of our fighters not on the shield generators. Maybe we can keep them from popping that early. Ready for action. Literally just pump your rounds into that thing. Z95s are launching from the wheel. Cool. We're going to let them blow the wheel up. Stand by alert. And then once they get close enough, we're going to hit them with everything we've got. Imperial missile destroyer here. Just, if I can walk away with a capital ship kill, I'll be happy. The gunships might be able to get to work on these hammerheads. Maybe I can kill the supporting plate. MC-80 is primary. And then all of you, when they get close, we're going to slam into the hammerheads with everything we've got. That's my plan. I have three bomber groups. Please be in the back. And then we'll go after Starfighters. Yeah, get over here. Orbital command available. Orbital command available. We're still hitting. We're still hitting. I may have just changed my mind. No, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stop. In the name of missiles. Let them come. I want them to get into range. All right, ties. Here we go. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Hold your position and keep firing at that target. Damn it. Shield generators come online. They did actually target it. IPVs get up here. Die interceptors. Let's pause for a second and let's just get some orders put out there. You, you may fire everything you've got. Ugh, ugh, and he's starting to turn away. We're never gonna get through that. I need you guys to pop your ions and fire at this target. Your shields are already, ugh, your shields are already done. And who is firing at the dreadnought? You are useless. Uh, yeah. Primary target acquired. Yeah, this is going to be tough. This is going to be very tough. Imperial missile destroyer here. Oh, right. We were going to get all of our interceptors. Uh, maybe six TIE fighters. Let's get you all focused and have you going after those Y wings as they come out of the shield generator. You guys are gunships. Um, you should be able to hit larger than your scale. The problem is seeing it. One of the reasons I love pausing is so we can just see what's going on. Uh, I want you guys focused on them, and I want to get the R41s using their rockets, same kind of way. Just get in here and see if you can get some damage on this. Get those hunter screeners down. Uh, ions. Yes, Commander. What are you guys armed with, actual weapon-wise? Is it just light turbo? Eh, you might be able to break through. I want you to keep using your ion cannons on this, though. It's just so I can't do any damage. I'm literally useless for damage right now. Go ahead and cycle back. Come on then, let's kill these starfighters. Like nothing but one missile group. My entire force is useless here, except one ship. One ship, that's it. And they're gonna be able to cycle that on and off. That is so frustrating. That is super frustrating. It's just stopped any strategy at the moment. Really frustrating. One, two, three. Yeah, they're just going to cycle those. The Golan's been shut down. The bombers can get in. And I can't target anything to, like, rush the bombers in to stop it. 
I think that that should be something you can do, like being able to target the shield generator. It's like I can get bombers in there if I if I kind of chose my perfect attack timing. I could get in and I can hit him with bombers, but there's no there's nothing that I can hit. Uh, we are in and we did win the starfighter battle. Like all of you, focus on those bombers. Which one is actually transmitting this shield generator? It's you. After those Y wings. Like we're not, yeah, we're not doing enough damage to it. See that shield just dropped. New shields up. Whoa! Freak out. Put your fire to this target. And then I need all of you IPVs and stuff to get on these fighters. I mean, he's now out of the shield, but it's too late. Go inside. Ah, uh, my golem. I, I should stop building them, to be honest. I should stop building the fence until they stop building those this siege armies. Ready for battle. They can tank everything. Advancing. Maybe a build limit would be a cute would be a way to go. That's all right. We'll we'll figure it out. And the third ones come online. Yeah. Yep. 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 Alright, get in there. Get in there. Get in there, Starfighters. I need you. You guys can come in now. Let's get you closer and we'll pop those. Pop your ability. Oh no! We might be able to kill one shield ship. Maybe. Missiles are on their way. We got another bomber they can get out here. Let's get them running. You drop your uh drop it. If you haven't already. Break off, break off, break off, break off, break off. That's an enemy. That's an enemy rebel ship. Nah, we're we're out of units. Alright. Uh with what we've got left and with the victory class going up. That's gonna be the battle. Completely shut us down. That's rough. I'm trying to think of how I can counter that. I need long range ion to eat through those shields faster. Maybe like Victory 2s could do it. System lost. Yeah, maybe Victory 2s could do it or oh we're we're treating that way. Okay. Good to know. That's alright. We can move. We can move back in there and deal with it. But first. We have a ground invasion to get some extra income coming in. Let me know what your counter would be for the for the cycling of shields from the MC-80s. Ah, the justices. And is it justice? Well, anyways, the MC-80s. Yeah, I'm thinking long-range ions, something to shut them down with. Probably <sighs> bombers to just crack the hull in half. More victories to pierce the shields, but you'd have to have a lot of victories to do it. That might be a hard counter, though, actually, is <laughs> just... Because they're cheap. I can build them now. Cheap as ISDs go. As angry Doritos go. I can't. Like, there we go. What do they go for? 11,500 per. Hmm. Or stuff like get the Ton Falks up, which I wanted to do anyways. That gives us bomber squadrons and TIE fighters. Large TIE wings. Get in there and try to really slam them. I just wish we could shut down the emitter. That would be cool. I wouldn't completely take them out of the fight, but it would mean that the rebels, with their fighter advantage, would have to control that uh, that space. At the moment, I can take that space, and it doesn't matter because I still can't get fire support through it. Hmm. Do I have a starfighter that does ion damage? I've never thought about that. I don't think so. All right. I look forward to reading your comments. I will see you all in the next one. Later, everybody.